Hey guys, Rylan Russell here. Today we're going to be talking about church lobby design. And in the last couple of years, I've had the chance to visit some really amazing churches with great spaces, and I did my best to capture some footage in those places. Thought I'd share with you five design keys that I kind of pulled out as I've visited these areas that we can apply to our design in our church lobbies. So let's go. church lobby design is really this idea of increasing our gathering spaces. So in the last 20-30 years, the church has moved away from the way that we do community and the way we build relationships. In the past, it was all done in small groups called Sunday School, at least in the Baptist world. And we had lots of educational spaces with individual classrooms. Now, most churches are moving away from that and creating larger gathering spaces. Why? Because you can't really build community inside of a worship center. Everybody's facing the stage. You're not really encouraging, you know, community to be built. And so this idea of creating larger gathering spaces is the big trend. And that's something we're looking into at our church as well. And I think a big part of this is just the overall vibe factor and creating these spaces that people enjoy being in that they would want to spend time in hanging out building relationships with people you know creating comfortable seating areas you know maybe a coffee shop or something like that giving people a reason to kind of hang out and do life together and so the gathering space vibe factor is an overarching theme that I saw as I visited these churches. And maybe you're like us and you have multiple different entrances and that kind of makes it hard to have one common gathering space. Well, just think through how can you utilize your space the best to you know, encourage community and relationships. So that's, that's the first one, gathering space vibes. The second design key is using walls to create mobilization and connection areas. Things like an I said yes wall, where people can walk up and literally take a card that uh, talks about ways that they can plug in and serve and get connected in your church. Or maybe a discipleship group wall where it explains all the different options that you have for home groups. Utilizing these otherwise blank walls to actually connect people. So that's uh, design key number two, mobilizing, connecting people in your church lobbies. The third design key is showing that kids matter, that kids are a really big deal at your church. When a new family walks in, they're not having to go all the way to the clear other side of your campus to, to check in their kids and then come back. You know, they're, the trend is moving these kids check-in areas, I feel like, closer to that main gathering space. You may even see like an indoor playground right there off to the side. Um, really easy check-in areas for people to come and get their kids you know, badges printed and all those things, and then head right over to worship. Emphasizing, showing that kids really do matter, I think is a big design key in our main church lobbies. The fourth design key slash trend that I saw is utilizing your church lobby to communicate the church vision. You know, this can be done with foam boards that contain your vision statements or maybe a missions wall that talks about the ways that you're involved in missions. Um, it could be a church history or a timeline wall that talks about the way God has worked and moved in your church. But utilizing these spaces, these walls really, in your church lobby to reinforce your church's vision. And so as soon as somebody comes into your lobby, they understand what you're all about, you know? and. You see this even at restaurants or, or different businesses in the world. So we can take that and apply those same concepts in our church lobby. So it's not just these blank spaces, but yet we can use those spaces to communicate our vision. And uh, this doesn't have to be a, a super expensive thing. Anybody can do that. We've taken some baby steps here at Central, and it's definitely something you should consider uh, when you're designing your church lobby. And the last design key slash trend that you cannot ignore is directional signage. 
Now, directional signage can get really expensive, but it's very, very important. You know, you, we want to look through the eyes of someone who's never been in our campus, and that can be so hard when we've been at a place, a church for, for many years, to just kind of ignore some of those things. But uh, it's something we've recently invested in. As we visited these churches, we saw them incorporating, you know, full wall vinyl directional signage. Um, and that's something that we noticed we could do and redeem some spaces that weren't otherwise being used. And so, you know, you want to get this above the crowd so that way as people are walking around, they can actually see the signage. You need more signage than you think that you do, bigger probably than you think that you do. You can also incorporate signage in other ways as well, maybe uh, to help families find the right space. I've seen churches incorporate like floor design slash tape where it might go down the hallway and up on the wall and show them exactly where to go. That was our experience at one church. It was really, really handy. Hey, follow the red line all the way down to the twos classroom. And so directional signage is a very important part. It's not a sexy part <laughs> of the church lobby design but it's very functional and important you know where's the bathroom easy to find right that's important so take some of these things you've seen on the screen get some inspiration and uh, see how you can reimagine your space if you just started with a blank slate whatever space that you have uh, what could you do you know for just a few hundred dollars what's the most important thing evaluate these different areas and think if we could just improve one over the next six months, what would we what would we do? So hopefully seeing some of this stuff in these spaces has inspired you. You know, you can always hop on Pinterest or uh, you know other places to just get some inspiration as well. But uh, remember guys, we can do a lot of great things, right? Let's do it all for God's glory. And I believe that this is a step in that direction. So if you want some more ideas about church stage design ideas and how we've incorporated a few different elements into our uh, area, you can click this video up here and get some more inspiration. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one.